Gray. Okay, so Gray is like a little confused right now because we got people over and she's not quite sure why. So where are we going, Phoenix? We're going to Jurassic Park, the movie. Yes, and before we go, we got a surprise coming to the house. You want to see? Yeah. I'm about to kill the game and that's on period. You already know my name and that's on period. Whacking me is not the same and that's on period. If you're hating, you are lame and that's on period. I'm, I'm about to kill the game and that's on period. You already know my name and that's on period. Whacking me is not the same and that's on period. You want to see? Come on. Like and subscribe and hit the notification no, bell. No way! Hey, don't go out there yet. No, no. Put it in my pajama. Guys, guys, no. no. I get no, it's a puppy. I'm for sure. I'm keeping that puppy. It's not a puppy. Oh. <laughs> okay, so what y'all thinking? It's a dinosaur. I no. call it. No, it's an engine. I said no. Single spot. <laughs> What you think, Fia? A reptile. It's a reptile. I think so too. I think so too. This that is that so cool. a reptile. Well, it's exciting. What? Okay. What? See, we have a shot <laughs> Oh my god. These animals might be scared. Can I go? Can I go? Can I go? Listen. <laughs> Anybody not listening will be asked to leave. Oh yes, sir. Understand? Yes, 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 sir. What's rule number one? No, no questions. What's rule number question? two? Be quiet. <laughs> no, y'all can ask some questions, but y'all gotta raise your hand so we're not all yelling at once. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So no running. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, thank you. Okay, let me set y'all up. All right. How's everybody doing today? Yay! So, my name is Keith, and I'm here from the Herbs Alive Reptile Rescue. We take in reptiles that people don't want anymore, and we rehabilitate them, and we try to adopt them out. Every animal you're going to see today has been rescued. You're going to get a chance to pet some of them. You're going to get a chance to hold some of them. But you don't have to pet or hold anything that you don't want to. Okay? Now, let me ask you guys a question. How many of you guys think that reptiles are slimy? You think reptiles are slimy? Well, you know what? You would be wrong. Reptiles are actually dry and scaly. Amphibians, which are our frogs, are the slimy ones. And I brought a frog with me. Oh, my goodness. This frog comes from Africa. Wait a minute. And his name is Ponch. He's called a pixie frog or an African bullfrog. This is the second largest frog found in the world. And this frog is two years old, and he is only halfway grown. When wow. When he's full grown, he's going to be the size of a dinner plate. Oh! He'll be eight inches across. Now, because he's got that slimy skin, we can't pet him. Because if there's anything on our fingers, if there's any sweat on our fingers, or any leftover food from dinner, or maybe hand sanitizer or soap, he can absorb all of that through his skin, and he can get very, very sick. So that's why we just look at the frog and we don't pet him. He's got camouflage coloration, right? So he blends in with the pond weeds, and he sits right at the edge of the pond in the plants and in the weeds, and he waits for animals to come down to get a drink. And when an animal comes down to get a drink, he uses his front feet like hands, and he grabs it, and he just shoves it into his mouth. Wow. These guys eat rodents, like mice and rats. They'll eat other frogs. They'll eat snakes. They'll eat fish, and they'll even eat birds and bats sometimes. Can you believe that? Yeah. So this guy is the African bullfrog or pixie frog, and he will get twice this big. In Italy. I cannot believe it. So this is George. Everybody say hi, George. Hi, George. George is called a Herman's tortoise. And a tortoise is simply a turtle who has special adaptation for life on land. I will bring him around for you to pet. He's got a hard shell and his shell is attached to his body. The shell is made out of bone and then it's covered with fingernail material, which is called keratin. And we don't know how old George is because the people who had him weren't taking very good care of him. And so he went to a local humane society 
and then they ask us to take them. He'll eat kale, he'll eat romaine lettuce. He eats a little bit of fruit and berries, so he'll eat apples and bananas, he'll eat strawberries, raspberries, and he'll eat so many strawberries that his mouth will be so red it'll look like he's bleeding from eating all those strawberries. That's how many strawberries he'll eat. And then he'll also eat things like zucchini and yellow squash and green beans and so on. These guys who live 40 to 60 years, so it's a long-term commitment, and that's why we get a lot of these tortoises at the rescue. But there's one thing you have to remember about tortoises, and that is that some tortoises get a little bit bigger Whoa. than others. So this is Silky. Silky is called the sulcata tortoise, or an African spur tortoise. She is four years old. Wow. She weighs 20 pounds. When she's full grown, she can weigh 100 or even 120 pounds. Just to give you an idea, our largest sulcata tortoise is 85 pounds. Her name's Morla. She's about this big around. Wow. So you can imagine how big this tortoise is going to get. They come from the Sahara Desert. Not a lot of fruit growing in the Sahara Desert. So they eat mostly leafy greens and grasses. When it gets too hot for them, they use the spurs on their legs to dig burrows. And their burrows can be eight to 10 feet long and that gets them out of the sunlight so that they can not get too hot. Problem with spur tortoises is when they're babies, they're about the size of my fist, all right? And we have six at the rescue right now who are just baby babies and they're really cute when they're this big. But then they get bigger and bigger and they get so big that they can start walking through walls, through drywall. They can wow. Through walls. They can knock toilets off of their flanges and bathrooms. And if you don't believe me, go to YouTube because there's videos of them doing it. They get crazy destructive when they get big. Commitment. And he thinks your pink shoes are food. He thinks they're a giant strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> so a tortoise, a turtle would have webbed feet. A tortoise has big club-like feet, kind of like any animal we might see at the zoo or the circus? They look anything like an elephant? We're going to Australia. Who thinks I brought a kangaroo? Oh, <laughs> Kangaroos are a reptile. <laughs> Who thinks I brought a koala? Koalas are a reptile. <laughs> what I brought is a lizard from Australia. Lizard! A bearded dragon. Oh, yeah, no, no. This is Ophelia. If you want to hold Ophelia, put both hands out like this and we'll give you a chance to hold her. Like a dragon. Ophelia is a two-year-old bearded dragon. She is just about full grown. Reptiles grow for their entire lives. So she's growing very slowly now. But she is still growing. You can see she's kind of spiky. And she, those spikes are used to scare predators. So if a predator approaches a spirited dragon, she'll blow her body full of air. And those spikes get real sharp and stick out. And that predator says, I don't want to mess with her. She's too spiky for me. If a bearded dragon gets really angry, the beard gets real dark black and it starts sticking out and they start bobbing their head. And that's a bearded dragon's way of saying, hey, I'm angry. Put me back in the cage or leave me alone. They're not as spiky as they look. I think, okay, you, can, you, can, you want to just pat? You can do that. They feel more like sandpaper to me. So bearded dragons are omnivores. They eat their leafy greens like the tortoises. So they'll eat their collard green, mustard green, turnip green, but they love to eat bugs too. So they'll eat mealworms and superworms. They'll eat crickets. They'll eat roaches. They'll eat tomato hornworms. Oh, you want to just pet? That's okay. Yeah. Nice, baby. Just pet. <laughs> so the bearded dragon comes from the desert of Australia. This next one's so one so one comes so from much. the woods, from the forest. Hey. Watch your tail. Watch your head. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy has a kind of funny name. Oh, that looks like a snake. This is called a blue tongue stink. Oh. You guys say stink? Stink. Believe it or not, we have stinks right here in Northeast Ohio. 
And skinks are the only kind of lizard that live around here. So skinks are a family of lizards. This guy's called the blue tongue because his tongue yeah. really is blue. And when he sticks his tongue out, he's not being rude. He's actually smelling. He's tasting the air to see if you're a friend or an enemy. If you feel him, you'll see he feels much smoother than the bearded dragon. You want to try? Bearded, we have a bearded dragon at home. Do you have a bearded dragon at home? Cool. We have two dragons. And these blue tongue snakes are also omnivores, so they eat meat, but they eat a little bit different diet. In the wild, they eat worms and they eat slugs. We feed ours ground chicken and ground turkey. They really like scrambled eggs. And then they also eat apples and bananas, and we'll feed them baby food too. You guys see the holes in the back of his head? Some people think those are gills. But they're reptiles. Reptiles breathe with lungs just like we do. They don't have gills. Those are actually his ears. So stop and think about it. If you're a lizard and you're crawling through the forest and there's all kinds of pricker bushes and briars and brambles and sharp stuff, and you had big sticky out ears like I have, you'd end up scratching yourself, wouldn't you? And you'd end up bleeding and you could get an infection and you could get sick. So these guys just have these little slots. Not only that, but if you look at them straight on, his head gets wider right in front of his ears. Let's get a good angle of that. <laughs> they give birth to live babies. And the mommy blue tongue skink will be pregnant for about four months, and she'll have anywhere from six to 15 babies at a time. Could you imagine having 14 six. little sisters? That would be crazy. And the mom, <laughs> the mom doesn't take care of the babies after they're born. They're about four inches long when they're born, and she just plops them out, and then she takes off. Wow. And the babies have to take care of themselves. Imagine. They'll get their first meal when they're just about two hours old. Wow. So they've got to take care of themselves from the time they're very, very young. Wow. The blue tongue skinks aren't as popular as bearded dragons, but they do make very, very good pets, and a lot of people do keep them. Now, we're going to South America. Now, we're getting a little bit more Jurassic Worldy. So this, oh my God. this is Romeo. Romeo is an Argentine tegu. This is a lizard from South America. They get about four feet long. Check out that tongue. He's checking you guys out to see if you're a friend or an enemy or a lunch. Wait, no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm Romeo is 10 years old. He, he loves to eat rodents, but he also likes ground chicken and ground turkey. We'll eat cat food. We're just going to kind of wait. You don't have to. He does look like a Komodo dragon. He does. And in addition to eating meat, I do not have a Komodo dragon. I wish I did. I do have at the rescue, I have a cousin of the Komodo dragon. It's called a black throat monitor lizard or a black throat dragon. And the black throat monitor lizard is the lizard that they used to model for Blue's head and hold him down there and just have my hands on him. He feels like he's going to fall and he gets scared. You guys want to see him walk? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you see how fast the tongue's going? Because he doesn't know where he might be able to find food or what else might be there. And he'll really check out the area, see what's going on. These guys can live 15 to 20 years. Romeo loves, in addition to his meat, he loves apples, he loves bananas, monitors, retainers in Antarctica. Too cold. Because way too cold. Way too cold, that's right. But every place else in the world, in Europe, in Africa, in Asia, in Australia, they have monitor lizards. Here in the Americas, we have tegus. And even in the United States, we have tegus, but they're much smaller. We don't have the big tegus like this. We have animals called race runners and whip tails, and they're in that same family. Whoa. Now you can see right now, He's trying to get away. He wants to walk around on the ground again, but we're going to put him back in his kennel because you know what time it is now? It's snake time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
black and everything that's white on this one is black on this one but these guys are tree climbers you can pet them if you want to <laughs> totally calm they love to live up in the trees so in addition to eating mice and rats these guys will eat baby birds and they've been found as high as 100 feet up into the trees Now some coral snakes. I mentioned that the one has no black and the other one does. How about a corn snake who has just yellow and no red or black? Oh wow, he's an albino. Wow, he's an albino. Instead of having what's called saddle markings, has. Stretch. So here we have four different cord snakes. They're also called red rat snakes. Why would we call them red rat snakes? Because they eat rats. Because they eat rats. But look at how small their look at how small their head is. How could a snake with such a small head eat a rat? Here's what I want everybody to do. Everybody, close your mouth. Open your mouth, no sound coming out. Just did that to give the adults a break. Now close your mouth, open your mouth. When you open and close your mouth, does just your bottom jaw move, does just your top jaw move, or do both jaws move? How many of you say just your top jaw moves? Raise your hand. And how many of you say both jaws move? Raise your hand. And how many of you say just your bottom jaw moves? Raise your hand. All right, if you said just your top jaw moves or both jaws move, make sure that as soon as my program is done, mom or dad takes you to a doctor because you have a broken jaw. And people, only our bottom jaw moves. Our top jaw is attached to our skull. It doesn't move at all. Snakes can open both of their jaws so they can eat much bigger prey animals. If I could open both of my jaws, I could eat a Big Mac in one bite. And I know what you're doing. You're looking at me and saying he's had a lot of Big Macs in his life. And that's true. But I can't eat them in one bite. Plus, in addition to being able to open both jaws, Snake jaws are attached by tendons. Tendons are kind of like rubber bands made out of muscle, and it lets them stretch even further so that they can eat that big prey animal. So these are the corn snakes or the red rat snakes found in the southeast of the United States. About my favorite family of snakes. They are the giant constrictors, the boas and the pythons. Do I have any pythons? It wouldn't be much of a reptile show if I didn't have pythons. So we're going back to Africa. So this is Bedford. Everybody say hi, Bedford. Hi. Bedford is called a ball python or a regal python. And Bedford is named Bedford because she was found crawling around loose in an apartment in Bedford, Ohio. Aww. I'll bring her around for you guys. No. She's a little bit after right now. <laughs> she just finished shedding her skin, so she's really active and hungry. But she's about four feet long. 
This is about as big as ball python get. They're considered to be small pythons. How is it small? Well, compared to other pythons. Yeah, I've seen python, yeah. I like that small. Yeah, they're small. Yeah, they're small. All right, now do I have one brave volunteer? Something you're going to learn as you get older, usually you want to find out what you're volunteering for before you volunteer. <laughs> So cool. the one here. <laughs> <laughs> so pythons eat mice and rats. As they get bigger, they eat bigger prey animals. And they don't have to have live food. Good job. Everybody give her a round of applause. So a lot of people think snakes like this have to have live food. They don't. They are totally fine eating frozen thawed. And that's much safer for the snake because frozen thawed prey doesn't fight back. All pythons have become the most popular pet snakes in the world. What? There's over a thousand different color varieties. Some of them are striped, some of them are spotted, some of them are yellow, some of them have spider markings, some of them have bumblebee markings. What? And then this one here is one of my personal favorites. Which is another one? This. Snake. I'm going to stay right here. It's a little two year old little girl. And this snake's name, wow, wow. she's gorgeous. Two year old. This is Princess Buttercup. Oh, she's beautiful. And Princess Buttercup is what they call a piebald ball python. You'll notice she doesn't have pattern all through her body. She only has patterns in parts of her body. And that's very unusual. And pied ball pythons, the pattern is different on every one. But, so boas are part of the family that we call the giant constrictors. But they're not really the giants of the snake world. The giants of the snake world are some of our pythons. Now we saw a small python. We saw the ball python. <laughs> She's like, no, oh, I want to stay out. So, the Oh, the Britney, the Britney Spears python. So, this is Persephone. Yes. And Persephone is an albino Burmese python. Yep. The Britain, they are native the to Britain 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 Britain. Britain. They can get to 20 feet. I've seen one just like this. skin. This skin, it's just amazing. Why does their skin feel like that? What if they stand it up and it wants a space? Oh, gosh. Now. Who's brave and wants to hold her? And I have to do this in two sets. I need you guys to listen carefully. Stand next to each other. Line up shoulder to shoulder. How many you want? About eight, seven or eight. And then we'll do another group. Everybody will get a chance, I promise. Come on. Stand next to each other. That'll work. Stand in a straight line, shoulder to shoulder. All right, I'm giving you the hardest job. Hold her tail. <laughs> Put your hands out. Oh. 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 You gotta hold on to her. He's so heavy. All right, you guys got her? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna run to the restroom. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stay here. So people always wonder. They say, why don't your snakes bite? Snakes bite for three reasons. They bite to feed, they bite in fear, they bite in self-defense. This snake knows you guys aren't food. You don't smell right, you don't look right, right, you're too big. And she doesn't fear humans because she was hatched in captivity. So she's been around people from the day she hatched out of the end. So she doesn't fear them. So the only way a snake like this is going to bite is in self-defense. She thinks she's getting hatched. So things you should never do. Never grab the snake's face by your, by, with your hand. Because if she sees that hand coming at you, she's going to feel threatened. Pre pre choice, though, which is to bite. Never hold your head up to her head. Your head is 20 times bigger than her head. She's got a tiny brain, and that tiny brain saying, oh, that's a predator that's going to try to eat me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to defend myself. Mm -hmm. So as long as you use common sense when you're handling the animal, 
you won't get bit. You guys did well, a great you, job. Guys. Well done, ladies. And now... Wait, wait, wait. Go to Daddy. Hands out, palms up. You've got the important job. Grab that tail. What the heck? Oh, oh, he's moving. I got room for one more here. I feel it. I feel it. There we go. Can you guys feel how strong she is? Yeah, your neck's gonna be broken after this. Okay. I'm holding the heavy part. Okay, here, turn. Let's see. Turn Let's see. Turn. Not you, the snake. Turn this way. Is it wrapping around you? Guys, You're okay. You like it? Okay, so that was a little crazy because when you tried to give it up, what happened? He wrapped around my neck. Like it was, like I was in spray. It was heavy. Oh, can I go? Wait, can I? Okay, you guys can go play on the playground until until we leave. Okay, so we're gonna have to. Uh huh. You sprayed on this. Oh, thank you. Oh my god. <laughs>